Hello everyone. One thing most people have in common is a cell phone, but it also may be the pain that it's causing. I'll tell you more about it right here on The Intellect. It's holiday season and visitors are out to make their time in Chicago unforgettable. So of course, phones came out to get that perfect shot, something that'll score a couple hundred likes on Instagram. But when they look down to review them, they might feel something that's not so exciting. I would say it's like a knot in your neck and you're not really sure how to get it out. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's exactly what that feels like, right? It's called text neck, where users hang their heads forward and downward, looking at their device for extended periods of time. It then causes a stress injury. This is a fairly new disorder. Upgrades in technology have us doing many things in this lazy and uncomfortable position. Texting, checking emails, and staying up to date with family through social media. It happens 15 to 30 minutes at a time and it can add up to hours throughout the day. I have chronic pain all day, every day. I think it's just part of like, you know, living in today's modern life is what I feel like. When you stand up straight, your head weighs about 12 pounds. But when you look down at your phone, it can weigh as much as 60 due to gravity. That excessive pressure puts a strain on your neck and leaves your spine and upper back in pain. That aggravation can then radiate down to your arm. Technology is only becoming more useful in our daily lives. So I spoke with a chiropractor to see what can be done to relieve this pain. No, I was. Look at the, look at the chart. Dr. Derek Hartman specializes in the McKenzie method, which is a stretch technique to reset your neck. With pressure like that, the opposite direction of that is extension. Um, a chin tuck, when you tuck your chin back and keep it locked in a place like that, that's a nice mid-range extension exercise. When you tuck your chin back and go into full extension as far as you can this way. That is full end range extension right there. Dr. Hartman makes the disclaimer that this technique may not work for everybody, but instead there's other things you can do to relieve the pain. Hold your phone at eye level to take that heavy weight off your neck. Or do what you need to do and get off your phone. It may be hard for some of us to kick this habit, but for those who continue, they must understand the consequences. Um, if you're like this when you're 24, um, you're 34, 44, 54, 64, you're going to continue to go forward, right? Um, if you don't figure out how to reset in the opposite direction and pain's a good reminder. Um, because not all of us can look forward and thinking like, well, I don't care. I'm, I'm 24 years old. I don't care if I'm, when I'm 74. But, but, but these things will amplify as you get older. And, and you can't... There's more to life than being glued to your phone. Enjoy the view, spend time with your loved ones, go shopping in person. Attachment to a device can make you absent from memories being made. Um, I try to be more present because you're just going to miss so much if you're on your phone and there's this whole other world that's on your phone and on like just the technology and Instagram and social media that you're just, that's not the world you're a part of most of the time. And time is our most valuable possession. It's important that we use it wisely instead of using it to hurt ourselves. That's it on the intellect. Thank you for tuning in. Yo, what's going on, everybody? I want to thank you all for tuning in to this installment of The Intellect. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, do me a favor. Get locked in by pressing the subscribe button, press that like button, and follow The Intellect on Instagram and Twitter. And if you have any questions or you got any ideas for my next video, feel free to reach out to me at DaveFlyP on Instagram and Twitter. And stay tuned for more updates for The Intellect. I'm DaveFlyP, and I'm out.